Hi, I'm Sarah. I think I'm Megan. You think you're Megan? Yeah, I think. Well, I think we're the Traveling Nunas. Say it ain't so. It's true. It's true. So today's video is going to be about five things you need to, you know, keep in mind whenever you're going on a road trip. Nah. Very important five things, or at least in our opinion. Mm. We like to get along, so. Yeah, this is helpful in getting along. So, five things to remember on a road trip. Number one, know the signs of hangry, which is hungry, angry, in case you didn't know. Sleepy and pissy. And when to take a break. And pissy stands for pee angry. Yeah. Which this Nuna gets if she can't go to the bathroom. You have no idea. For long periods of time, I will get really mean. <laughs> you don't understand. If I can't pee, I get really angry. <laughs> like irrationally angry about everything. And I admit that. She does. So, a couple of things. <laughs> couple of things to keep in mind as far as this goes. When was the last time we stopped for a potty break? When was the last time we ate something? Do we have snacks in the car for us to eat if we're not near a restaurant or haven't been for quite some time? And is it time to take a break? You know, sometimes you have to just stop, pull over somewhere safe, get out, stretch your legs, enjoy the scenery, take some pictures, whatever. Okay? I know when to do that. What? Anyway, um, you know, just know when to do that. The other thing is, when you're going on long road trips, make sure that you have safe places planned ahead of time to stop and sleep. We can elaborate on that in another video. We can. Yeah, where... <laughs> where we did not do that. No, we drove 36 hours straight. It's not the most intelligent decision. No, it was not. Granted, we had fun, but it was, it's not safe. It's not. It's not very safe at all. So, especially when you wake up and the other person's on the opposite side of the road, they're supposed to be on. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway, but we can elaborate on that later. So, um, know when it's time to take a break. Know when it's time to sleep or to stop and get something to eat. You know, and make sure that you have planned places along the way to do those things. Safe places. Not McDonald's parking lots. No. We'll talk about that later though. Yes. Anyway, okay, so your bullet point. Number two. two. Sharing your radio. It is fun making a playlist and the road playlist is always enjoyable when you aren't selfish and put a whole bunch of music the other person doesn't like. We are lucky that we pretty much love the same music, and even if we don't, genuinely we'll let the other person play a song. And normally, like, I hadn't heard Horizon by Miyavi. It's a and great song. She put it on the playlist when we went to California and all those other places, and I fell in love with it. And we, we made fun of it, too, but Be that's an entirely different video. That was fun. It was funny. We'll talk about that in a different but video. But <laughs> pretty much we played the crap out of Miyavi, Rain, and BTS, which is Bangtan Boys. Played the crap out of them. Yep. Yeah. They the will there. forever mean California. Along with 30 Seconds to Mars. So. It's true. The thing about playlists is they're important for the road trip because it's, you know, a time for bonding and it can help make quiet times a little less awkward and we'll get to the quiet times here in a minute um just make sure when you're making the playlists that if you include a couple of songs that just you enjoy and you know you're the only person that's gonna like those two songs make sure you have other songs that your other friends or friend will enjoy it's rude to just make a playlist that's just all about you i mean one of us may be obsessed with jinsu and the other one may have fond feelings for him, just not as much as you do. Yeah. And that's fine. That's Except fine. Before we're gonna have at least four C no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're not having four CDs of Jinsu. <laughs> no matter how much I love Jinsu. And I do love you, Jinsu. Anyway, so the next point is you don't have to constantly be talking. Say what? Quiet time. So third point is you don't have to talk all the time. Yep. Huh. Yeah. 
that's a problem. <laughs> During road trips, sometimes your friend may want to take a nap. Okay. When your friend is trying to take a nap, that means quiet time. That does not mean ask your friend a question about Fenris and Dragon Age so that that friend suddenly wants to play Dragon Age when there's not an Xbox or Dragon Age anywhere nearby. I said I was sorry. <laughs> Granted, she didn't sleep until we got to California then. That's true. Anyway, so, but seriously, quiet time. You have plenty of time, generally speaking, on most road trips, unless you take little short ones like we do. You have plenty of time to talk about whatever it is you want to talk about if your friend wants to take a nap for a little bit. Seriously. Like, you know, it's okay to have quiet time and just, like, be in your own little world yeah, while you're driving. Sleeping in the car anyways, we didn't sleep for a long period of time. I think the max either one of us slept was, like, an I think I think I slept the longest at like two hours at one point. May, I think maybe one of us did sleep for three hours almost. Especially when I had drove all the way through California and I finally let you drive at the dip oh, of yeah. California. That was fun. And I woke up and we were somewhere in Oregon and you were scared shitless. So. Mountains. <laughs> no, I think we were in Portland and you hated it. Oh, yeah. We were. Oh, yeah. I know. So. What anyway, that's also for another video. She doesn't like big cities. I don't mind them. I don't like big cities. We'll tell you stories about California sometime. That's a true story. Okay. She does. She was scared. Anyway, <laughs> your next point. Um, we like to have a travel kit. Yes, travel kits are important. Yes. Um, yes, yes. things to keep in mind for the travel kit. Uh, extra shirts. Chicago was not so great because. I only brought two shirts by accident. I always overpack things like that. Though. That was a mistake. I thought I packed more than that. The, no. You should have, like, blankets for, like, the car rides, especially if they're long, because some of us like to freeze other people out. It's a true story. I wouldn't know anybody who does that. Um, you should have headache pills. You should have feminine hygiene products if you're a girl. True story. Make sure you bring your own hair conditioner, especially if you have, like, long hair. Or curly hair like this one yeah yeah it's not fun to like try to brush through your hair without conditioner, conditioner. it's not fun it sucks um we always have a case of water in the car too so if somebody gets thirsty we don't necessarily have to pull over yeah and plus drinking water instead of soda is actually way better for your poor little kidneys and way mm. more economical it's a true story um but... Madam, madam, I think that was it, really, for the travel kit, maybe. Really? There's probably more. Like, oh, I think... This is going to sound like my mother, but seriously, you always pack extra underwear. You never know when you're going to need it. That's so awkward. I know. I know it's really awkward, but She's I'm She's the Nuna. old one. I'm a Nuna, so I'm going to tell you. She's an Ajima. Pack extra underwear. Ajima. Listen to your Nuna. Ajima. Pack extra underwear. I think this should just be Nuna Ajima. Shut up. <laughs> Anyway, what was our fifth point? Having fun. That's true. Yay. You have to have fun. It's a road trip. As much as you want to kill the other person at one point in time in Seattle and you thought you were just going to murder her and leave her there, you don't have to. You can have fun. That's true. Let the other person drive. Let the other person also have fun without judging them about things that we're not going to mention on camera. True story. <laughs> Seriously, though. It just involved a lot of gin. She may claim that one of them was water, but it was gin. One of them was goddamn water. It was gin. It was not gin. Gin. Anyway, beside the point. You don't even know that story, so don't worry about it. Anyway, so, some things to keep in mind, you know, as far as having fun goes. Stop every now and then. Yes, it'll make it longer getting to your actual destination, but I think one of the best moments of our trip back home from Washington was we were just like, you know what? Let's just go see Mount Rushmore. Yeah, because we were going to go buy it anyways, so we decided to stop. It was really cool to see it. We had never been able to see it, so it was a cool thing for us. And not only that, it was another thing that we can be like 40 years from now. Remember that time we went to see Mount, 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 Mount Rushmore? <laughs> Sometimes we can't talk. We're yeah. really excited about this video right now. And we learned a really good lesson from a friend when we were in Seattle. Sometimes you don't have to listen to the GPS. Just take a random turn. Not on your way home, though, because we don't want you getting lost. But, like, when we were in California, we explored Cyprus and pretty much did not follow a GPS. We went all the way to Seal Beach and miraculously found our way back to our hotel. 
Didn't even know how we did it. Nope. We just, next thing we knew. Yep. So we had fun with that. It's pretty awesome. It's okay to not follow the map or GPS at times. Yeah. Just kind of stop every now and then. Explore. Walk around. Explore. That's how you discover little gems like Stow It. <laughs> when we were in Stow, Ohio. Yep. They had a trash can that said, Stow It, Don't Throw It. Yes. Best trash can. Yep. Anyway. It had a seal on it. It had a seal on it. <laughs> So, I think that's going to be it for us today. Yep. I think this video is really long. But it'll be okay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> if it's up, it means it worked. So, um, those are our five tips for your road trips. And we will talk to you guys later. I'm Sarah. I'm Megan. And we're the Traveling Nunas. And we're signing off. Bye-bye.